I would start my day at 4 a.m. when I was working on Morgan Stanley's sales and trading desk. I'd get up at 4 if I was feeling particularly lazy, hit the snooze and get up at 4.05. Straighten the shower, I'd run down to the computer and grade homeworks for my script uni students. I know most people who work in banking don't have a side job, but I did. I'd leave the house at about 5.10 a.m. and I'd arrive at work 6.30 in the morning. What I did on the train? I wrote my books, which will be out shortly. Breakfast at the desk, either something from the cafeteria or I'd grab from Dunkin' Donuts on the way. By 7 a.m., the sales and trading global team would be on a call and in the conference room. Since I was in the New York office, I had to go into the conference room. We talked about clients, we talked about the markets, and any urgent updates or things that were about to roll out that would impact the system that everyone had to know about. 8 a.m. was my team meeting. So 7 o'clock was the global sales and trading team. By 8 a.m. I had to get down with my team. It was on Zoom and we'd talk about individual tasks or things that we had to collaborate on. Every once in a while, two people on the team would start talking with each other. Oh, hey, I was looking over your code or I was discussing this and everybody else would say, please just take it offline. We don't want to hear about this. The team meeting would usually take about 30 minutes. Between 8.30 and 9.30 in the morning, I'd be catching up on work emails. It is a global team after all, so I'd get a lot of emails overnight and I'd have to respond to them. If you don't respond to your emails in the morning, you're going to frustrate people. Even if you don't have answers right away, you have to let people know that you've read those emails. 9.30, I would continue the tasks that I was working on the day before. Almost always when you leave, you're aggravated, you didn't get to finish your work, so I'd try to finish at 9.30. Usually that would take me pretty much until lunch. 12 o'clock was lunch on the desk. Everyone did lunch at 12 o'clock because everyone woke up super early, so we're really starving by then. It's a little weird that you have to have lunch on the desk, but that's just protocol. Everyone just does that. Are you productive during lunch? Not really. I call it spazzy work, uh, spazzy lunch work, because that's what it is. You, you're kind of looking at Yahoo, pretending to look over some work or do something, but you're not very productive. About 12.30, I would start to work on new projects. And that would carry me until 2 o'clock. So an hour and a half of kind of fresh new work. 2 o'clock was the coffee club, yay! So I was part of this conglomerate of people who somebody would be picked out of the hat every day, would go down and buy some Dunkin' coffee and, and Popums or whatever. And that would go out to the desk. And when people have coffee in the afternoon, everyone's very excited and talking about coffee and not really getting work done. So that's roughly 15 minutes of messing around, which is cool. About two o'clock, more like 2.30, were the meetings. So people would be really busy with work until that time. Usually between 2.30 and the end of the day was when you can grab people for those one-on-ones. And it's really important for networking, just chilling, having conversations, but more importantly, actual work meetings, like I needed to speak with somebody about a project I was doing for them. They're just too busy dealing with clients until that time. So usually from about 2.30 till the end of the day, I can get those meetings in. So I did not get so much work done usually between that time because it was more meeting time. About 5.30 is grumble that you didn't get your job done time. Pretty much everyone did it, 5.30. Oh man, there are not enough hours in the day. That was just what everyone would say. And I'd be out by like 5.45 or 6 o'clock. I'd get home at 7.15 and that was dinner with family time. 8 o'clock was bedtime and I'm the pianist in the house so I'd sit down and play piano, get the kids sleeping and that's that. By 8.30 I would log on to Zoom and I'd have roughly an hour, hour and a half of coaching calls with my coaching clients. So in the morning I would take care of my script uni homeworks and after work I would take care of my coaching clients. 10 o'clock, I would log on to League of Legends and usually play a game or two. And then 11 o'clock was bedtime. Brush your teeth, get in PJs, and go to bed. Sometimes I'd be a little naughty and stay up till 11.30. So that would mean roughly four and a half to five hours of sleep a night. Not the healthiest, but that's the way my day was my entire tenure there from associate through VP. What's your day like? Do you sleep more than five hours? Do you think this is crazy? Because this is the reality for most people in sales and trading. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your day is like, what you think of this schedule, and I'll see you next week.